United States is about. Uh, as Roosevelt told us and others have told us, you have to hold my feet to the fire. We have to show direction to him. We don't wait for the president. We don't wait for anyone. Everyone was telling Dr. King, wait. And remember, this took place in the wake of his death. When I flew into Washington on April 4th of the same year, the city was burning. It wasn't even possible to get from Dulles to wherever I wanted to go. The city was burning because King had been killed. And uh, so, yes, it was a time of great importance. The current time is more important. The need for action today is more important than it was then. So we look to these people for the example they gave, knowing that not everyone is going to accept what they did, but knowing that behind each Dan Berrigan, there have to be at least a hundred supporters or a thousand supporters. There have to be people raising money. There have to be heroes putting stamps on envelopes to send out telling people what the next action is. So I'm uh, just delighted to be here today. And I, I think that this play was so beautifully done, it so expertly done, so accurately done. Dan, I had spoken when Dan was at the Cornell uh, teaching and we began thinking of such actions that he could have written the play. He wanted to write it, then he read the transcript and said, that's it. <laughs> that's the play. So thank you for being here. Today. Thank you, Glenn. So that actually leads me to my next question. Gordon, how did you originally find the script? What inspired you to do this in 1971? Um, I listened to Blaise Fontaine. <laughs> uh, the script, uh, which was in the form of a play, but Dan was writing as a poet uh, and didn't think in terms of dramatic structure. Uh, and you could say very easily that each uh, story is a, a drama unto itself. I, uh, a very good agent in New York and a dear friend named Flora Roberts um, handed me uh, a uh, document of what turned out to be the trial of the Cape Nine, uh, and it was about to be published, and it was very much in the form of um, bearing witness to uh, to an event by having people um, testify, and the, tes the, the testifying was uh, from the transcript. Um, and I read it on the airplane coming back, and by the time I got back, I was in tears, uh, just simply having read that 30,000 miles up in the air. <laughs> uh, and I went right to a phone and called the floor and said, I don't know what this is, but I gotta do it. <laughs> I gotta find a way to do it. And we proceeded uh, a journey, which was extraordinary for uh, a group of uh, actors and a theater to participate in, in finding a way to say something that was going on um, in the world and in this country. Um, and respecting the text and what Dan was doing, we try to figure out how to present it in the form that he did, um, and th that was pretty much the first version that we presented. We had a program called New Theater for Now, and, uh, and the emphasis was on new and now, and this seemed a very now. Uh, the, the burning took place in 1968, and in 1971, just three years, uh, or even before that, because it took a while to develop, uh, we um, uh, we had something on the stage, and I believe that theater should be doing that more and more. And it also struck me that at a time of um, uh, that we were doing this in, there were three networks we know of: ABC, CBS, and, um, and uh, we um, and public television, uh, and that wasn't. And it was a different style. They they recorded the news. They weren't there like Anderson Cooper or people like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it 
it was very kind of distancing and just facts as they knew them or whatever. It didn't, doesn't have the electronic and, and energy and the immediacy. And I really thought the theater should play that role. So that's mm -hmm. another reason why I'm committed. I, and I want to go on, but I'd like to just give you an idea of how it, what, I, what went on from there. So we were preparing it with you know, a wonderful group of actors. Uh, I thought it was very important that we, at that time, that we um, uh, find people who are committed and actors who could embody each of the characters. Um, uh, and uh, we put it on uh, for a single performance uh, in the taper. And while we were working on it, clearly the word went out that we were working on this. And suddenly, things started to happen, like my phone was tapped. Um, uh, you could tell the way you received the phone. Actors were, were uh, you know, made uncomfortable uh, through various sorts. There was a, a van in front of my house uh, the, whole, the whole time, and clearly that was a station for us. And as we got closer, you know, the feelings uh, got closer. They, they, um, 